Woo. What's going on guys? Lawson here out with Kyle, Robin, and Chelsea. And we are fishing some big giant islands, mainly looking for GT, but any other real reef species. Got coral trout, Spanish mackerel, um, queenfish. I mean, every, everything's out here. And we took a very long run this morning, probably about a hour and a half run. And we are here though. And I'm rigging up some heavy, heavy gear, heaviest gear I've probably ever thrown. This is 200 pound mono attached to a 100 pound braid to a, my 8,000 dog fight. And that's what we're throwing this morning. And right now starting out throwing a big giant glide bait. Hopefully find some fish pretty soon here, but Got to start chucking and winding, and hopefully the whole crew can get on something this morning. I'm excited. Hey yo! So the fish was like 15. There's a fish, not huge, but there we go. I don't know what it is. It's not big, but we're hooked up. Whew. It's shaking its head like a freaking maniac. I don't know even what we got. Man, it is down deep. Yeah. Quick work at least. A little GT? Little GT, yeah. Let's, uh, just a little guy. And that's that's the little one oh, though. It piled up. Yes, it did. <laughs> that's quick. That's good stuff. That's uh, terrifying. This is the little GT. Back home, this would be a pretty solid sized Jack Revol. That right there is our first fish in the morning, probably about a 20 pound GT. And that's a little one. That's what's terrifying. They can get quadruple the size and that's kind of what we're looking for today. But quick work, probably only made 25 casts so far. Head first, spin them. Hey yo. That was pretty terrible, but the reason, if you don't know, GT, Jack Creval, like fast moving fish, the reason you throw them head first is they don't ever stop swimming. They are literally constantly swimming. They never sit still. So a lot of times when you sit there and try to hold them both side and revive them, it actually kind of hurts them more than anything. So you need current moving through their lungs if you keep them out for a little bit. But if you only had them out for a tiny bit like that fish, head first, shoots water through the gills and they're good to go. That fish, he choked that plug but we were able to unhook them and get them going real quick so awesome and not to brag or anything but i guess technically these right here this is a uh, weston swim 150 they haven't even hit the shelves yet kyle got a bunch of them because he's sponsored by uh, jml and they are partnered with weston correct correct yes and so these are weston 150s they have not even hit the shelves yet so we might be one of the first people to ever catch a fish on these that is the first fish in australia to be caught on that lure the first fish kobe awesome Oh, there it is. Oh, he just dropped. Oh my God! I thought I was about. I thought I was gonna jump in the boat. I thought I was about to punch a spin. Did you see that? I thought I was gonna hit you! Dude, I thought I was about to punch a Spanish mackerel in the face! He hit it and then he tried to sky on it. Yeah, I'm like, that was a huge Spanish. Oh my god. No, he was like 35 kilos. I honestly thought that fish was gonna be in the boat. Dude, I. I, I legitimately was like ready to like javelin the thing with the rod out. 
Did you see how? Did you see how mean it looked? Well, he hit and then he skied on it, trying to get it again. Oh man! How much distance do you think it covered from jumping out to landing? How high did you Like an get easy it? like 30 feet. That was, it was three meters in the air. He was like, that was the, he was eye level with me, and I'm up on top of the deck. That is gonna be some amazing footage. That was horrifying. Fish. Uh, it doesn't feel huge, but it's definitely not right. Alright. Yeah, it's not bad, man. I, I know it's not pulling out any drag, but I have my drag absolutely disgustingly hammered. Yeah. You're good. Pumping them. No, it's not too bad. It's not giant but it's good it's definitely a better fish could be nice to eat oh sorry 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 about that guys kind of made kind of a bit of a mad dash to the back here It's gotten better and better. It didn't hit all that particularly hard. That's a J. You can tell about yeah, the head shakes. And now it's just throttling. I might. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> Robin. You're great, Robin. Okay. That was a moment there. I kind of just had to dash for it. Woo! Yeah. Bright and silver. Wonder what that could be. I don't know, man. It doesn't look huge. What the heck? This one fought like 10 times harder than the bigger one. They cut these this turn in the current. Oh, that's terrifying. And now I think about what a uh, 40 pounder will fight like. Beautiful. Second GT of the morning. He's probably a little small in the first one. We're just in really heavy current, so he was turning and fighting. I thought he was going to be a lot bigger. He fought twice as hard as that other one, but the activity's been pretty solid this morning. Saw that giant, giant mackerel, Robin caught a tea leaf. We've seen some queenies. It's been good. It's been really good. All right, head first. Gone. Whoo, that's awesome. Hopefully, we can find that big boy. Gosh, I, just got, I just got pumped multiple times. It's still on it. It's still on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is it? Gosh, that rocked me. That was a very big fish again. Same exact spot. Try something. I'm going to put the school tech on and literally just rip it. It's about to go down. Ooh, it's got whacked right there. Did yeah. It, oh, he's still on it. Was it a belly hoop? Nah, it was a queen. Oh! Ho, ho. oh <laughs> cool. Old long, long Timmy. I just got hit again. Good. Stop it. That's really cool. That was hilarious. Double, double up on long toms in one cast. Oh, look at this boy coming in hot. <laughs> oh, there's like five of them right there. I literally, I saw him from like 30 yards away, see it, and they'll jump out of the water to gain speed. Like they'll go like this, go. Pew. Oh, there's another bite. Oh, big fish on it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Freak, I have right there. It was like dark black, whatever I was looking at. 
All right. Spool tech's getting. Oh God! <laughs> another, another, another long. What those things? You don't even want to catch them. Oh, dude, that was a huge tea leaf trevally that just followed me up. Like it was monstrous. It was bright yellow. Oh, school yeah, it's getting some looks. Oh kill. no! Oh no! That's heartbreaking. That I'm still, I'm still gonna throw it, just like a stick bait. Yeah, I'm so, oh, no. I'm still gonna throw it, just like a stick bait. Got a little wiggle. Something took my boot. All right, we are winding down our morning session here. We're gonna work our way just along this point one last time, see if we can find a fish, and then we're probably gonna make our ride home because we got about an hour and a half drive home all right that is it back home in florida and that is actually the last video in the australian trip you know the fishing wasn't as productive as a trip overall as i was hoping it would be because chelsea and i were basically plagued by terrible weather the whole entire trip for the 24 days or however long we were over there, it felt like the wind was blowing 25 miles per hour every single day. You know, originally with Kyle, we had a bunch of stuff planned to go fish out on the reef, and the wind just did not ever let up. And we got two days out fishing in the ocean, and we were really hoping to do, like, an absolute ton of that. That's just the way it goes. You can't change the weather, so there's not much you can do about it. But I couldn't thank Kyle and Robin enough for housing us and inviting us to come stay with them. And then Joel and Shannon down south. I mean, amazing people to let Chelsea and myself stay with them and take us fishing. I mean, you couldn't ask for better people. The trip was an amazing experience. Like how could you complain about getting to go to Australia from a content perspective, trying to create videos for you guys. I was let down in a sense that I just wanted it to be more for you. But it was still just such an amazing trip and you couldn't ask for a better experience going to just an unbelievable beautiful country and um you just you feel comfortable there because it feels like you're in the u.s but everything's kind of tilted and different and then some things have a completely different perspective on them and so it's just a awesome place to go if you ever can go to australia highly recommend it the biggest like downfall of the whole entire trip was just trying to get back home Basically, we should have taken like a day and a half to get home of traveling and it ended up taking close to four days for Chelsea and I to get home and it was just awful. Our flight, our first flight from Brisbane to LAX got delayed by 10 hours and every single flight after that got delayed by two hours and we got bumped from flights even though the airline was supposed to rebook us. We ended up having to spend a whole entire night in LA in a hotel and then we should have gotten home basically on the 18th and we ended up getting home on 3 a.m. a day later than we were supposed to. So that was kind of a huge pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Wow, okay, we're back home, back to the Florida videos and I'm actually really, really excited to be back home. I've already done some fishing, it's been pretty awesome. And I mean, the snooker along the beaches, the tarpon are here. We already ran the boat out three miles offshore and did some awesome fishing, and I can't wait to show that stuff with you guys. And uh, we're back in Florida. Leave some comments down for me below of what you want to see now that we're back home, and hopefully we'll be able to get on that stuff. But I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That is it. We're done until the next video, and we'll be back fishing in Florida. I appreciate you guys. See ya.